Welcome back to Set Streets and Eats, guys. I'm Chris Bauer. Behind me is the City Museum in St. Louis. It's a really cool museum to go through. A big, eclectic, pre-Meow Wolf type area, type place. And uh, I've got the family with me today, and we're going to go check it out, and I hope you guys will join us. Let's travel. I'm Chris Bauer, and I am an art slinger. I travel around the U.S. selling artwork at comic and anime conventions, and while I'm there, I like to check out cool sites, eat great food, and see all the places my favorite movies and TV shows are made. Welcome to Sets, Streets, and Eats. Change the music to something royalty free. It's dance break. That's what they do at Chuck E. Cheese now. Look at it. It's birthday! It's not actually my birthday. That's birthday. true. It's birthday week. It's the week of birthday. Over here? No, let's do the. You talking about the shop? We'll do that at the end. Oh, over this way first. You want to go in the kneecap spreader? Very feathery ceiling. Yeah, I would definitely not go up that thing. That would just destroy you. You want to climb in a spring? Yeah, you can climb in it. Oh, I would die. Oh, look, Lil. You can also climb up these little platforms. Uh, of course, you have to squeeze under there, and then you climb up that way. Oh my God, that gets even more well, narrow. There's no way. I'm getting I can fit that though. Well, let's go find it. I bet there's multiple entrances. They're in the tunnels. So this uh, this pretty unique maze. So basically you enter several different entry points in here and you go up to this tunnel system that's above us under the feather roof. And uh, yeah, that's uh, not for people my size, I'll just tell you. But very cool. It's like a mix of rustic woodland creature and under the sea vibes. But they have stairs on one side if you don't want to crawl through all these different tunnels. They've got stairs. There's a the little tunnel behind the aquarium thing. Ooh. We're gonna go up the stairs though. Whoa. Now we're up above in the maze. There's a dinosaur lizard iguana. Turtle shell. Is that not turtly enough for the turtle club? I have no idea where everyone went. Oh, there's like a little eating area up here. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. I was going to tell you, you could walk right up there and those stairs right there. Oh, was there? Oh, you've never been to an aquarium. I don't want to go down in there. That's like the cave from Empire. You know what's in there? Only what you take with you. They're up in this section, probably somewhere over in here. It's endless up there. Yeah. Uh, are they coming down? 
I mean, I don't know. They're exploring. I don't. Where? I see hands. Oh, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people up there. Oh, I don't know. It might be. I know. That's kind of true. We're trying to find our kids. They've disappeared on us. Yeah, I saw that. Next to the giant iguana. I know. Shannon was hoping for the live fish. She's never seen an aquarium. Call her disappointed again. Here's the eating area again. Oh, it's a sort of aquarium. Sad seahorse staring at the floors. They've got doll's eyes. Like a doll's eyes. It's from Jaws, Shannon. Look it up. Oh, look at that octopus. The sea creature, Neptune's beast. Wow. There's some more fishies. And these are, I think, bait. These are definitely bait for whatever these are, for sure. Yeah, I don't know if we're ever gonna see the kids again. They're they're lost to the sea. So the fish eat at your hand. You wanna try it? No. <laughs> they don't bite you, honey. They're eating like, they're just like this. I grew up swimming in a creek. And this is where they kept Snowflake from Ace Ventura. That's not Snowflake. That's not Snowflake. place is pretty cool. So the Sydney Museum's been open for, gosh, I think it's less than 20 years, but I could be wrong. It might be more than 20 years. Um, it's a really cool place. Just a giant building of mazes with clearly some sea creatures. And uh, yeah. And a giant whale, you know, right there. Sure, that's fun. I got my Boba Fett shoes on. Anyway, super cool. It's inside, outside, go all around. Um, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Lots to see. These old safety deposit boxes to the old vault door of this apparent bank building. The tunnel, the vault tunnel. These doors weigh about 8 billion tons. Wow. Those are cool. You gonna crack it? No, it's already open. Hmm? It's already open. I know. That's true. Someone already cracked it. It's solid. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah, and like every one of these goes out into the hole of the wall. Not this wall, obviously. So cool. Let's go through the oh, Arrowhead Tunnel. Arrowhead Mirror Tunnel. That's pretty rad. Keep thinking I hear my kids. <laughs> no, they're gone. <laughs> They've moved on. Holy I cow. I don't blame them. They could do better. Oh, we just I know. Bathrooms. And then this is some art. Some earth. What? Where? 
So they were able to get all the way up oh, yeah. through there. That's awesome. So the whole thing connects. Look at that twister. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and look back there. Thunderdome. <laughs> How's that go, Shane? <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> okay. They got upcharges? What, babe? Yeah, babe. We waited down there a long time and then we realized you guys weren't coming back. <laughs> Hanging out. Giant ball pit. Look at this little castle. Would you like to go through a dinosaur and come out of his beehole? This is your chance. There's a snake. Snake. Oh, oh, I hear you. I hear you. Are you lost? Get out of there. Get out of there. I see. Get. Get. I think she's gone. And she disappeared. Oh, how creepy is that? Gross. So for an extra fee of $8, you can go into this vintage pinball arcade. We're not doing it just because, you know, it seems like you would want to spend a lot of time in there. But when they say vintage, they're not messing around. These aren't even 80s. These are like 50s and 60s, which is amazing they're still working, honestly. But it's pretty cool. It's only 8 bucks, unlimited play. Looks like these are actually from digs. Yeah. There's a lot of, but, these look a lot like, a, yeah, I was gonna say, they look like they're actually archeology span finds. Yeah. And if you ever seen National Treasure, this pipe, these pipes play into the plot, especially that one. It's in the beginning where it fits that certain lock in that ship. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, so these were all found on digs. See, look at this. That's pretty cool. Just a, it's a pile of metal, rusted together. Watches and other household stuff. Old, uh, look at that old pocket knife. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, there's more over here. Ooh, look at these old toys. 1860, old toy boat. That's cool. Oh, I forgot my skateboard. I would have totally shredded this. Well, if it's a foot park, my knees are done. My knees are over. Just walking. We're moving on. Actually, I say everyone loves pencils sarcastically, but honestly, even up to when I was a kid, these were the best things. Like you would see them in every business they had matchbooks or anything, or pencils. And now, remember how pen big pencils were when we were kids? Like that was like the whole 20th century, that's how you advertise, but then people quit needing pencils. So now you don't see them anymore, but you used to get these every single business you went in had a jar of pencils to give out. I used to have tons of pencils. Scott Buick Company. It's crazy. Mr. Peanut. A big pencil right here. Yeah. That's pretty neat. I see a. Oh, they got a big boy. A big boy. Oh, my lordy lord. So, growing up, I'm not going to tell the whole story here, but this was always a very big goal for me and my friends to own one of these big boys. It never happened, but we made an attempt a couple times. Did not work out. But they got one. Looks like it's an original. Looks pretty old. 
And now I want, I want a big boy sandwich now. They're so good. Museum of Mirth and Mayhem. Mirth, Mystery, and Mayhem. That's pretty cool. Geodes! Ooh! What do we got here? Oh, moths. Moths and butterflies. Wow. That is a lot of bugs. Stick bugs! No, not stink bugs. Stick bugs. You remember Bugs Life? Yeah. <laughs> Look at those ones. A splinter. <laughs> it is funny. And the fact that you can still quote that movie is insane. Come on, it's a cat that wants you to, to hold it. Hold that cat. Gross. I don't even No, I don't who care? You know what? It's the only good bat. No, it's amazing. Yeah. 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 Also the only good tarantula right next to it. Down, Karen. Oh, I want the real kitty. Down, Karen. If I wasn't meant to pet that cat. Why is it so cute? Why is it fluffy? It's so bony. Yeah, I love when people try to apologize for their big dog. Shannon, this is like your worst nightmare. It's just a, it's a whole room of bugs. Oh, look, roaches, Shannon. Nope. You love these. The only bugs I don't mind are these beetles. Why would you mind? Have Lily do her entire Bugs Life monologue about stick bugs in front of the stick bug display. <laughs> it's really funny. It's a good part of the movie. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, this is pretty dynamite. <clears throat> that is terrifying. It's like a dragon, but it's like all body and arms. So gross. Sing us a tune. And now, ladies and gentlemen, ah! Shannon's on the piano. She knows very few songs, but she's going to regale you with this classic. <laughs> How's that go, Lily? <laughs> it's good that you guys match the dance to the music. Good job. We'll never see you again if you leave. Because we're going to go to the elevator to the rooftop soon. That's on this floor. And I want to go to the pipe organ. <laughs> what? I don't know how you get in, though, because I saw someone in it. I guess you don't get in it. Oh. All right, so. Oh, there it goes. OK, I'll hold this while you press them. I guess what they meant, that's what they meant by playing it. I guess it's like tiny examples of a giant pipe organ. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> this is Shannon's worst nightmare. Uh, wow. These are really spelunking. <laughs> they all turn into trap doors. Ooh. Oh, that does feel good. Ooh. Shannon, come stand with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mom's in petrified this mode. Is your comes. You can come to the edge. Pure terror. That's the only thing you need for a horror movie for Shannon is standing on grates. I'm done. So we are about to head up to the rooftop. The rooftop is a menagerie of different vehicles connected with tunnels. It's pretty cool. It is an upcharge to go. This is not the cheapest museum, but it's also not the most expensive either. I think it's $20 general admission. I want to say it was an extra $10 for the roof, maybe $15. Um, but yeah, it's uh, pretty unique. It's like an old Meow Wolf. If Meow Wolf did like a Haunted Mansion version of their 
establishment. That's what this is like. <laughs> or the Tower of Terror, yeah. The Tower of Terror. Oh, it would be awesome if we were the Tower of Terror. Well, it's Hollywood. Pray. You remember that one? Pray. 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 Pray.
attraction up here at the top. <laughs> <laughs> like at the steepest dress. part. No. He's gonna fly down that thing. Because <laughs> this guy's gonna go over the railing. Oh. <laughs> Kennedy, other, side of the road. other side of the rope. Like a real slick slide. <laughs> hey! So this is off the side of the building here. Uh, some birds made of metal. This is an endless labyrinth. So you could just, you know, randomly jump into this tunnel, take it up to the top of that spider web. There's a bus. Oh, look at that tunnel that goes over the. Good lord. That's crazy. These are all these different access points. You cannot be afraid to see the ground. I'll just tell you that. You would probably lose your mind. Alright. We're moving on to an airplane. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm in an airplane above a city street. Wow, look at that. Gee, I wonder if all those wires would go to something. Aside from being poor, I don't fly in PJs for this reason. I'm bigger than the plane. I can't fit through doorways in a PJ. It's pretty tight. Ah, oh, that plane almost hit us. Can't believe you went over that thing. Oh. That is quite treacherous. I'd be stuck there forever. I'm on the wing. The wing of a plane. There's something on the wing. Some thing. Woo! Look at that. This really looks like a crash site, basically. You know, plane crashed here and they're like, let's make a museum around it. It's probably what happened, for sure. This place is pretty awesome. Uh, it's really just an exploring museum. There's a few historical things here, but uh, mostly it's just go and explore it and enjoy it, you know? It's pretty tremendous. Uh, this bridge is a little terrifying and should have worn knee braces because, oh my God, that hurts. Oh, but it gives you a very good vantage point. Anyway, from the rooftop of the City Museum in downtown St. Louis, I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you come back for my next adventure. We'll see you next time. Bye now.